the professors Connie Rijke and Hein Fleuren came up with the Urban Refugees Thesis Circle, the whole project. It started all off with a conversation we had with uh, the director of Care in Nederland and he said that one of the priorities was urban refugees. So at this stage I think there's more than 65 million people that uh, can't live at their home. At that time I didn't think about, you know, okay, any other country it's, it's good for, for me because I want to be, you know, and save a place. We support very much their mission, and their mission is to defeat poverty and to improve uh, social justice. And it perfectly fits with the slogan of our university, understanding society, taking care of those who are in need. My background is sociology, so I was really interested about what is the interaction between the structures of the country and the refugees. I looked into their marginalization. Secondly, I looked into how they deal with their marginalization and what creative ways they come up with to uh, survive in general. Like I, I came from a war zone, scattered country. Many people died there and I, I tried to find, you know, it's like a solution to, to help them and also to help myself at the same time. We have had six students in Athens and Thessaloniki. Despite the popular image of refugees being dependent and an economic burden for the society, I wanted to show that they are actually resourceful and adaptive. So they, de they designed a questionnaire. And they managed to interview more than 300 refugees from all nationalities, from all backgrounds. We started from uh, demographics, then we continue with living conditions, then coping strategies, then safety then accessibility, migration history. We provide them uh, the access. It's very difficult uh, to even find the refugees. They uh, were very, very creative in getting in touch with these urban refugees. Well, Rebecca like, posted a, a post on Facebook about, you know, she needs an interpreter. And then I say, okay. They are looking for, for help and advices and something always to every single person they meet. I was, you know, thinking how can I get a reference letter or a recommendation letter, let's say. So we, without vouchers and without actual, actual uh, and practical help to them, it was really challenging to accept us. We had uh, interpreters and translators from their group. Words, it's enough. Sometimes not enough, but words can solve many problems. What we see worldwide is that there are a lot of refugees, not only in camps, but in cities. 60% of uh, uh, refugees globally are now in uh, uh, cities. Children and kids, homeless and... <sighs> they have specific needs uh, regarding safety, regarding their rights, regarding work. They don't know where to look for housing. They don't know where to look for their papers. Refugees miss knowledge about the rules, about the law, and about the, you know, like their rights. People that lived in the squats, the living conditions there are not that good, actually. I said, there is a squats, if you are interested about it. And she said, yes, we can go. So you have to imagine this, um, this big classroom in which several families live and their privacy is kind of guaranteed by curtains in between. Yeah, which of course does not guarantee your privacy at all. Internally, you have uh, you try to be professional, but at the same time, you 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 are you're striking. You know, you, you are hidden from uh, from this situation. You feel like should I contribute right now? I see crisis in front of my eyes. People are in a really bad position. What? Which are my priorities? It's not about food. People are thinking, you know, we can give them some food. They will keep on silence. It's not about food. It's about make them understand. Also, give them some space to speak. They have to erase, you know, the obstacles. My results included that with regard to income, access to services, living condition and integration, urban refugees in Greece are definitely marginalized. What is missing from Europe, but mostly from Greece as well, is we don't connect the available resources. We are lost in translation. To understand that uh, and to make sure uh, that you address those root causes uh, is, I think, really important for an organization like CARE. And with our analysis, they will be able to improve their services provided to the urban refugees in Greece. What I try to propose with my research is that there are cheap solutions 
with reorganization and reforming to help these people actually. It shows that urban refugees themselves are also creative in finding ways to survive and in that sense organizations can align their services. Local governments, national governments and NGOs like CARE can take better decisions and know more what is going on. Through this project new research questions come up and I can uh, add to that knowledge. The motivation to continue this kind of research uh, is definitely bigger than before. With this project also give our students an opportunity so that they can grow. Having this experience it influenced my, my approach in life. We are very happy to be born here in the Netherlands and to be able to live our life here in the Netherlands. I think yeah it helped me a lot and also I get my recommendation later. <laughs>